Okay, I'm back. And now to fight Cain. Oh boy. It's one of those battles. It's it's basically gonna work out work the way my first battle with Kane was. Where I only have to hit him three times, but it's a bitch trying to hit him, so it's probably gonna take me a really long time, but I'll edit the shit out of it. Oh, here we go. At least they give you plenty of warning. At last. I must say I'm disappointed in your progress. I imagined you'd be here sooner. No, I imagined you'd Tell me. Soon. Did it trouble you to murder your brothers? Did it trouble you when you ordered me into the abyss? No. Mm. I had faith in you. In your ability to hate. In your self-righteous indignation. Okay, Claudia. Lies. You cannot have foreseen all of this. Eternity is relentless, Raziel. When I first stole into this chamber centuries ago, I did not fathom the true power of knowledge. To know the future, Raziel. To see its paths and streams tracing out into the infinite. As a man, I could never have contained such forbidden truths. Mm. But each of us is so much more than we once were. Gazing out across the plains of possibility, do you not feel, with all your soul, how we have become like gods? And as such, are we not indivisible? As long as a single one of us stands, we are legion. Mm. And that is why, when I must sacrifice my children to the void, I can do so with a clear heart. Wow. Very poetic, Cain. <laughs> but in the end, you offer no more than a convenient rationalization for your crimes. These chambers offer insight for those patient enough to look. In your haste to find me, perhaps you have not gazed deeply enough. Mm. Our futures are predestined. Mobius foretold mine a millennium ago. We each play out the parts fate has written for us. We are compelled ineluctably down preordained paths. Free will is an illusion. I have been to the tomb of Seraphan Cain. Your dirty secret is exposed. How could you transform a Seraphan priest into a vampire? How could I not? One must keep his friends close, Raziel, and his enemies even closer. You magnificent bastard. Can you grasp the absurd beauty of the paradox? We are the same. Seraphim and vampire. With our holy wars, our obsession with Nosgoth's domination, who better to serve me than those whose passion transcends all notions of good and evil? Mm. I will not applaud your clever blasphemy. The Seraphim were saviors, defending Nosgoth from the corruption that we represent. My eyes are opened, Cain. I find no nobility in the unlife you rudely forced on my unwilling corpse. Yikes. You may have uncovered your past, but you know nothing of it. You think the Seraphim were noble? Altruistic? <laughs> Don't be simple. Their agenda was the same as ours. You are lost in a maze of moral relativism, Cain. Mm -hmm. These apparitions and portents. What game are you playing now? Destiny is a game, is it not? And now, you await my latest move. Where are you? Oh, fuck. Okay. Oh, I went the wrong way. Where are you? Oh, fuck it! I almost had him. Fortunately, I can stay here and just sort of regenerate health over and over. I'd forgotten about that. Maybe I should just wait until he- Oh, there we are. I was about to say, maybe I should just wait until he... Uh... Appears right in front of me. Whoa, trippy. Where are you? 
Oh, right in front of me. God damn it. Oh, I should have. Oh, fuck it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I knew there wasn't time. There would have been time if I'd started moving immediately. Where are you? It's kind of shitty me to let Raziel die over. Oh, 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 oh. There we are. Okay. Yeah, and this is actually easier than the first battle with Kane because at least I can regenerate health and I don't have to keep uh, being forced to go back into the spectral realm to regenerate and stuff. Okay, it's gonna be... Yikes, that's gonna be hard to time. Where are you, asshole? Oh, right up there. I'm not gonna have time to get there. Nope, 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 I sure didn't. Oh, that's gonna be... S Damn it. Just, just show up right in front of me. Oh, he's right. Not right in front of me, but... Where are you? Come on. I'm serious. I am not gonna go run all the way over. Damn it! Oh, he was... I did not... Oh, what? I'm right on the... But I'm right on the thing that was generating my health. Regenerating my health, I mean. What the hell? Does it eventually stop working? If so, that's kind of shitty. Crap. Oh, what the fuck? There he is. Oh, you bitch! I almost had you! Ah! Such a fucking asshole, Kane. Where are you? Last hit, man. It's gonna be the hardest. There he is. I'm not even gonna try to get him. I, I have to catch him the second he appears. Alternately. Oh, this wouldn't work, though. Yeah, in theory, I could just run this way, but. Yeah. Oh, I can't believe it. I was actually kind of close. There was no way that plan was going to work. Hmm. So casting a glyph is a good way to dodge, quote-unquote, his hits. Cheapest fucking boss fight ever. I mean, it's 90% luck. It's damn near impossible. If you wait for him to show up somewhere, it's damn near impossible to be able to get him before he disappears. There he is. to be that one. They make it so that there's a fucking alcove there and it's almost impossible to jump on it. Ugh. Oh, fucking finally! I starting to think that was never gonna happen. The road actually hurts from all the yelling I did. You nearly had me, Raziel. But this is not where 
or how it ends. Fate promises more twists before this drama unfolds completely. There will be sequels. <laughs> oh, you asshole. That's a great laugh. Be warned, Raziel. Once you cross this threshold, you are beyond my influence. Be warned, Raziel. I don't recall if that's quite the case. I think you still communicate with the Elder in Soul Reaver 2. So I'm not sure why he says that. Maybe in the beginning you don't. I don't remember. Oh, look who's here. Raziel. Redeemer and destroyer. Pawn and messiah. Welcome, time span soul. Welcome to your destiny. Mm, ominous. <laughs> Where time is but a loop, a loose stitch in the universal cloth. A streamer might seize upon a chance, a fatal slip, and plunge the fate of planets into chaos. To be continued. <laughs> that made me so mad. I'm closing my door because Lee's about to come home. That made me so mad when I first played this game because um, this game... Um, Um, this is one of those games where it just, it was, making this game was a disaster. They had so many problems and the, um, the release date just kept getting pushed back and back and back. And what they ended up doing was they had to cut some things out just to, just to get the damn game out. And, um, I think originally, I'm not sure if there were going to be any sequels originally. I think, um, the story was going to be completely self-contained other than, you know, would have been better to play Blood Omen, but I... Although, I don't know, maybe they did have sequels planned, but maybe they weren't going to... They were going to go in a different route with it? I'm not sure, but anyway, yeah. Uh, it took forever for this game to come out, and, uh... Just, I was so mad that there was no... That they left it open on a cliffhanger. So there we go. There we go. At least we get to see uh, Neil Ross. I didn't remember that he was Rahab. At least we get to see a lot of the um, in progress art. Kurt Hartland, in Information Society. This game was almost made for me in a way, because like, first of all, it's horror themed. I mean, I'm like, I'm not especially into vampires, but I like horror stuff, and I like when, I like when vampires are, when they, people do, like, creative things with vampires, and this game definitely is creative with how it approaches the whole vampire thing. Uh, there's that, um, it has, like, Michael Bell, who's, like, one of my favorite voice actors, and then, like, the music was done by Information Society, who... I was never like a huge fan of theirs, but I liked them enough. I know I had at least one or two of their albums and I was really into them for a while. So, um, yeah, this game was practically made for me except for the fact that it's like fucking too frustrating for me apparently. I didn't remember that from previous playthroughs, but apparently that's the, uh, all of our friends who missed us during, yeah.
Yeah, um, I'm going to take a break from Soul Reaver after this for a while. I'm going to probably play some short little indie games. I have a couple I actually uh, just recently got from Steam, a couple free ones. And I don't know if they've been Let's Played to Death or not, but whatever. I might do them anyway. Uh, La Marchand? <laughs> okay, random Hellraiser reference. Not really. Um, so yeah, I'm going to take a break from Soul Reaver for a little while. Um, and I'm gonna do a couple of indie games or something, and then I'm probably going to do Soul Reaver 2. Um, thing is, I don't think I actually have a copy of it, so I have to acquire one. But that shouldn't be too hard. I, I mean, I've, I've played it before, and I actually, I do own it, it's just in storage, so... Um, I might just buy some copy of it that's just the disc or something. Long fucking credits, does, like, everybody have to do their special thanks to 10,000 people? <laughs> I'm sorry, that was- that was mean. But, like... These credits really need to go on longer than they need to. It's like, we aren't- they aren't even talking about the game anymore. It's just, like, the second half of it is special thanks. <laughs> wow. They're not even showing any more artwork, so I'm just gonna skip to, uh, I'm just gonna skip to when they get back to that. If you want to see all of the credits, you can just play the game yourself. Oh, there we go. Now they're over. <laughs> Alright, I beat it. I fucking beat Soul Reaver. I've beaten it before, so you wouldn't think that would be a, oh, no option to save. Well, yeah, because there's no game that comes after that. So, okay, um, thank you very much for watching this Let's Play. I know it was, um, probably a bit of a drag at times, but I did my best with it and it's over now, so for better or for worse. Uh, that's it for now. See you next time.